Well, hi again guys. Um, this video is actually just going to be a, a knot tying video. Uh, a few guys have actually requested if I can try and do a step by step, step on how to tie a plait. Uh, it's a rather long and can be a complicated knot if you haven't tied it before. So what I was going to do, just with the help of this board underneath and some Dacron, I'm just going to tie a loose a loose plait. So hopefully you'll, be able to, you'll get the idea. You'll be able to follow along on how to how it well how to tie it, and then go practice with some fishing line. And then after you practice a little bit of practice, it should look something like okay. It should look something like that. Hopefully you can see that there. Might be a bit hard to see with the background. Oh. Okay, so when you tie a plait, you'll see here the knots there. Okay, you, hopefully you can see that. When you tie a plait properly, it won't slide down. So some guys tie these things and they're a bit loose. So at the end here, this will slide down. If it does that, it's not working. When a plait's tied properly, that won't slide. And if you watch here, the knot will stretch. See, I'll pull on it and you can actually see the knot will stretch. And it gives it a high breaking strain. Now just, this won't break. Now with your little tag end here, it's only very short. If that pops out, it only pulls out one, pulls out one little, you know, loop. The knot will never undo, never undo. And it shouldn't slide down. So what I'm gonna do now is just give you a demo on how, how to tie it with this. It's gonna be loose. And then you can sit down with the video and go through it with mono and go step by step. First, I'll suggest just tying it, getting used to tying it, and then you can start putting pressure on it as you tie it. It's going to need pressure. That's the hardest bit that mucks people up, so getting it tight. But that's just, just, just takes time and um, practice, that's all. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here is just, now we're going to tie a plate. So first of all, give yourself a decent tag end, okay? So it's fairly long, because this... This knot is fairly long. On most rods, we usually tie it a couple of inches, so it takes it takes a while. So you've got yourself a nice tag end. Okay, this is your main line going up to your rod. What we do is measure out how long you want the double. If it's four, like a wind-on, just make it short, like a meter. If you're running, you don't run wind-ons and you prefer longer doubles, some guys tie these and make them three to five meters long. That's your your choice and how long you want to make the double. I'm just gonna just do a practice here on how, how to do the knot, not the length. So first of all, main line there to the rod. Okay, tag end. I'm gonna start by going underneath. Okay, so we've got underneath there. So basically it's just a cross like so. Now with your tag end, come across, bring it back to the middle. Okay, you can see that. Now on the right side, bring that across, and it comes across your tag end. Makes a bit of a loop, you can see there it just forms a loop, okay? There's in plat starting. So now, we bring the left side across the middle one, like so. You can see that? Start to tie a plat. Now, bring your right one across the top, and the middle one, like so. And this is a plait. Now you're back to your left, you're bringing that across the top. You can see the plait there, start to form. That's a plait. Not that hard. Now once again, right over the middle. Now when you're tying this with your hands, you've got to pull them up tight, obviously. This is just loose so you can see what's going on. Now once again, left over the middle. Now, camera's off, uh, still there. Now, right over the middle. Okay. Now, left over in the middle. Just going to do this a couple more times, guys, and then I'll do the finishing bit. This is the bit where most people want to know is how to finish. The plate itself is not that hard. So now we'll, that's back. Now we go right over the middle again. Nice. Now we'll just go left over in the middle. Okay. Now right over the middle. Now left over the middle. And now the left's back in the middle. At the moment, the left one is our tag end. This is our cut off end, it's our tag. It's in the middle. So what we're gonna do here is double that one over. Just put it up, just bring it back up. 
just make it like a, a doubled line. You can see that there? Now all you got to do is continue the plait. Just think of this double here, this loop, just think of this as one. So now you just continue the plait. So the last one is left over the top. Now this one, we're going to go right over the top. Okay? Just continue the plait. Left over the top. That's just one line now. This double is one. So right over the top. Left over the top. See, right over the top. It's so easy. And then we'll go left over the top. Generally, when you do this tag and this double bit here, we make this bit short because this is where it locks off. If you make this too long, you won't be able to pull the tag through and won't be able to finish the knot. So my general rule of thumb is I only when I once I I have this like an inch to two inches or three inches, depending on how long I want it for the line class. Um, when I get I, when I do this double bit, I do usually, usually do this at three to five times, no more than five. I'll just do what three there to finish it off. Now what to do? Now to finish it off, you bring this double bit back into the middle. You can see it there. Okay. Now you just go. You get your double. How long do I make this? See. You can see that this is the loop in the middle. Now for the actual double, so these two here that form the double, these two, find the end and just put it back through the loop, okay? Just go back through the loop. doesn't matter if you go through the top or the bottom, it really doesn't matter. Just go through the loop and pull it down like so. Now, you can see that's gone through, you can see a bit of a mess, looks like a bit, bit of a mess. Now, with generally with mono, it's going to be fairly tight, so use your teeth on this bit. And you just pull that up. You can see it sliding through there. See the loop getting smaller? You pull it up. And there you go. Until it's nice and snug. Now all you do is cut this bit off. There you go, guys. You just tied a plate. And locked it off. Goes from one to double. And the reason we use the doubles generally nowadays is just to put connect wind-ons on. So you've got loop to loop to put a wind-on on. Some guys use them for a bit of strength and something to grip onto when you're leadering big fish and you don't run wind-ons. But generally, and um, the plat's always a good one too, it's over a bimini. I don't like bimini's and monos, you've got to tie them tight and bimini's can actually dig in and burn the mono. Uh, plats are a good all-round knot, they never undo. If you tie them properly, they'll stretch with the line they've got to give them. They're just a fantastic knot all-round for tying doubles. Keep your bimini's for braid. Don't try and tie a plait in a braid, it'll drive you nuts. Bimini's are generally running braid, plaits are running mono for trolling. But that's how you that's how you do it guys. It's not that hard. As you saw Lee, it's basically over the top, left over the top, right over the top, left over the top, right over the top, over the center all the time. And then double this at the end and just do three or four plaits with the double. The hardest part, guys, is sitting down practicing, and when you're tying this, you're holding it up in front of the camera, obviously, or in front of yourself. And when you're doing the plate, you've got to give it a little nudge and pull it up tight, and then hold it, and go back and do the next one, left and left over, right over, and just keep keep on giving them a little nudge tight. You've got to get it tight. That's going to be the hardest part for you guys to practice with. Just remembering how to tie this, easy. Getting it tight is the hard part. So, guys, just practice. You've got plenty of time until next season. So. Right, go home, grab a beer, sit in the shed and have some fun. Anyway, thanks for that guys and I'll see you in the next video.